Hey, good morning, everybody, or good afternoon, or whatever. It's Saturday. Happy Saturday, everybody. Uh, this is Roxanne. I'm at home here in Arizona in the heat. Today, um, Saturday, June 15th, I guess it is, I think. Um, it's supposed to be 114 degrees. It's the day before Father's Day. Yeah, 114 degrees today. So I am pretty much staying inside today. I did have to get out earlier and run just a couple of errands. Um, had to go take a couple of packages to the post office. Um, but And then I stopped and got myself. I still had some credits on my Starbucks app. So I got myself another one of them summer berry drinks. Yum. So anyways, um, I've been busy already today. I um, I had a busy week. I, I did some exercising at the pool, which I'm excited about because I went like four times this week, which was really good for me. Plus, I went bowling. So got in a lot of activity this week, but by yesterday, my back was letting me know it. It was not happy with me. So that wasn't quite as good, but um, I did go yesterday and get um, injections in my hips for bursitis. So I'm hoping that that will help a little bit. My back seems to be feeling a little bit better today. I don't know if it's because of the bursitis shots or or what, because I mean, the shots were for bursitis, so their hips and the pain was in my lower back. So I don't know if it's just a coincidence or, or what, but anyways, I did do a lot today. I did some cleaning in my kitchen and I just tried to download all the pictures on my phone here to my computer that took me forever to figure out um, but now I can clean up the photos on my phone and make some room because I was running out of room already on this brand new phone um, I cut up some veggies and some fruit trying to eat healthy and I made myself this little salad for lunch like I said I'm trying to be a little bit more healthy so what I did is I made this little salad up this is um, the um, Great Northern beans. And then I just chopped up some veggies. I chopped up some jicama, some cucumber, and some uh, orange and yellow bell peppers. And then I put some salt and pepper and some balsamic vinaigrette salad dressing um, in it. So this is like super healthy and really surprisingly delicious. I actually really, really love this drop one. Um, so that's today's lunch. I wanted to do, you guys know I don't cook a lot, but remember a few weeks back when I went out to California, I got those dates with the little cut up mini dates. So I was looking through an old recipe book of mine that I got when I first got married um, back in 1980. Um, my mom gave me a cookbook the, the old Betty Crocker cookbook and it has a recipe in there for chocolate date nut bread so I have all the ingredients so we're gonna put that together and see how it comes out I've never made it but we're gonna go put it together and see how it's made so let me take you over there and I'll show you the ingredients okay all right guys so here is the cookbook I Thought it was Betty Crocker. I, I was wrong. It's the Good Housekeeping Cookbook. I got it, like I said, back in 1980 when I got married. My mom didn't think I knew how to cook, which of course I didn't. The only thing I knew how to cook back then was spaghetti. Um, <laughs> so here's the book. The pages are all worn in yellow. I do, I have used it a few times for like breads, um, banana bread and stuff. So you can see the, the page uh, of that. It's got like some banana bread stains, but... Um, this is the recipe we're using, this chocolate date nut loaf. So if you want to pause it right here um, and take a screenshot, these are the ingredients. And then down here, this is the recipe on how to cook it. So if you guys want to screenshot that so you know how to make it in case this turns out and you decide you want to try it. So I've got all the ingredients here, except I got to get the vanilla out of the cabinet. I did forget that. I've got the dates. I'll go over here. So the dates are here. Now it calls for, oops, sorry. 
it calls for actual um, hold dates that you kind of get, you, you, you um, put them in boiling water and let them soften up and then you cut them. But I had already bought in dates that are diced up, so I don't have to do that. Um, calls for one egg, some chocolate chips, flour up here, um, the walnuts, the salt, baking soda, baking powder, quarter cup of um, uh, butter, and then the milk, and then the vanilla. So I'm going to put this all together. I'm not going to show you the whole process because that would make this video extremely long. And so we're not going to do that. Um, but let's. I'm going to put it together and then I'll kind of take a few screenshots throughout the way. And then when it gets all done, um, I'll come back on and we'll taste it together. All right, guys. See you in a little bit. So as I'm doing this in my steps, it said to combine the milk, the egg, and the vanilla and beat the egg together. So I'm doing that. And then at the same time, it said to melt the chocolate and the butter together over a double, uh, like a double oven thing on the stove top, which I guess that's because back then they didn't have a lot of microwaves. I don't know. So I didn't do it that way. So I just put it in the microwave and I'm melting it that way. It's six ounces of chocolate chips and a quarter of the butter. So we're just going to keep I'm doing it 30 seconds at a time to get that melted. All right. Then next, the recipe said to add the flour and the next five ingredients into a mixing bowl. So that was flour, the walnuts, the sugar, the salt, the baking powder, and the baking soda. So that is all added into the bowl there. Um, and then it says to mix it up and then add in the dates. So let me mix this up here. We'll add in the dates and the liquid and the chocolate and we'll get all of it blended together, all the rest of this. So let me get all of that going. All right, I've got the rest of the chocolate here to add in. I wonder, it's got dates and walnuts. I wonder if I should just add in maybe some chocolate chips just to kind of have some chocolate on chocolate. What do you think? I might add a little bit just to add a little bit more chocolate on chocolate. Maybe, maybe I'll do that. Yeah, let's add a few. Let's add just a little bit of whole chocolate chips. Not a lot, just a few. So it was one cup of dates and then all the liquid and all the chocolate stuff. So we've got all of that ready to go. So I'm just gonna mix it up with the fork, put it in the baking dish and then we'll get it in the oven. All right, I am using my, whoa, dropped. I'm using my Polish pottery uh, baking dish. It's not a loaf pan, um, but it's close enough and it's pretty. This is really, really thick. I added just a drizzle more of milk in it because it seemed super thick and well, I don't know. It just seemed like maybe it wasn't supposed to be that thick. I mean, look how thick this is, guys. So, I don't know. We shall see if this turns out. And I promise I'll post it even if this doesn't turn out. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stick it in a 350-degree oven for... Uh, one... One hour and 10 minutes. That was kind of cut off on the recipe there because it had a piece of something on it. So one hour and 10 minutes, guys. Here we go. Okay, y'all. Um, I took it out at an hour um, instead of the full hour and 10 minutes because when I put the toothpick in, it was dry. So I don't know if that's because it wasn't in a loaf pan. I'm not sure. So 
if you decide to try to make it, just check it with your toothpicks. Let me turn this around and show you what it looks like. I put my hair up because it was getting really hot in here. So let's sound. Yeah, I even did the dishes while I was done. So here it is. It looks like it got a little dark um, on the edges, so it may have been in there even a couple of minutes too long. But uh, that's what it looks like. So uh, let me lower the camera a little bit. And let's cut a piece. Just a small piece because uh, I don't know what this is going to taste like, guys. But I think it might be good. That's what it looks like inside. And it's not, it's not, um, it feels moist is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and I know some people don't like that word, but it does feel moist in there. So let me, ugh, how am I going to do this? I want you guys to see that I'm actually eating it. So hold on a second. All right, let's try it this way. All right, so I've got it here. Hmm. Hmm. It's not bad. Um, let me try something not quite on the end here. Let me try another piece. So the inside is good at where it's moist. The outside crust, not quite so good. But I think it might, like, normally, like, when I have um, banana bread or something like that, I will put a little powdered sugar on it just to kind of add a little bit. So I think maybe this would taste really good with some powdered sugar on it. So I guess I would give it a 7 out of 10. Um, so... If you want to try it, you can, I, again, I did it a little bit different than the recipe because I used the pre-done, the pre-diced dates. And then the recipe does call for whole dates that you soak and pit and get them soft. So I don't know if that made a difference. Not really sure, but I would give it a seven out of 10 and I'm not throwing it away. I'm going to eat it because I'll just put some powdered sugar on there because it does taste good. It, it's be good for like for breakfast and stuff. So, all right, guys, um, thank you for joining me today. Please hit the subscribe button and hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. And guys, share me out with your friends. I'm trying to post um, like twice a week, once or twice a week to get the channel going. So share me out with your friends and uh, let's see if we can't get uh, some subscribers up here. We're still under 300 and I'd really like to get it up to a thousand. So let's see if you guys can help me do that. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there as well. Bye-bye. God bless.